11. Awe mfumu David ya tumine kuli sadoke na kuli abiatari shima pepo aiti soseni kubakala mbaba kwa yuda amuti. Chinshi icho mwabela, mwabela haba kulekelesha kukubwe shemfu mkunga ndaya iko 12. Ba mnina ane ni mwe. Kabilifupa liandi no mnofu wandi ni mwe. Nga chinshi icho mwa, mwabela haba kulekelesha kukubwe shemfu mkwisa no liya iko 13. Amen. Uh, as we learned last week, we, are, we, we saw how David was sent in exile by his own son because of his rebellion and he, when he was crowned king. And we saw how the events transpired and how Absalom was killed in a very tragic event. May the Lord help us. But why did David wait before returning to Jerusalem? Why did he have to wait? Since the path now was clear, he could have as well just decided to go back straight and sit on the throne and, be, and continue to reign. Why did he wait before returning to Jerusalem? Yes, Brother Bright. Choi amba, David apa anali kufuna, kuziva kuti if avantubamu funa. Mamena anawa uzira kuchoke la mumawe ya mene taverenga. Mamena anawa uzira kuti ime ndi mabale wanga. Dime mulofu anga, dime mafupa anga. So enzo funa kuziva kuti avantu, if vani misinga, mwamena tase gulita punziro yato, eh, anali kufuna kuti membi hava sinisi avantu ni wabale vanga, eh, bafunika, kuni, bafunika avantu vangkada, bani kuchitina chani, bali kuniewa, bani kuni misinga. So anafuna kuziva kuti, eh, bani funa o bani funa. May God help us. I'm sure he was just trying to explain that he wanted to know first, was he wanted? Was he loved? Having reigned over the Israelites for quite some time, for a number of years, having been their leader, having been their captain in the war, having fought battles for them, he wanted to know, was he loved? Because now the hearts of the people, we are told the majority of the people had fallen for Absalom. And now their leader was dead. He wanted to know, do they still want me back? May God help us. So who were the first to think of him? Who were the first to think of bringing him back. And how did this make him feel? Sister Vera. So, I'm going to go to Ababa, I'm going to go to Dondon, Kanya. I'm going to go to Mbia, I'm going to Israel. I'm going to go to Israel. I'm going to go to Israel. So, I'm going to go to Israel. I'm going to go to Dondon, I'm going to go to Israel. Of which, I'm going to go to Israel. Ava dingiro kubadisha po muko wale tungulu la pantu. Nge foto wa mfo kubati ya dibalu hili renko ndwe shingi. Ae chichansa ambidisha ukusango kubati. David ya pasha nishi wakuli kristu yesu. Nga kwe muko wa wakwe. China lando kubati muko wako nifuwa ufuwa apu susha. Pantu wa mbele ya lande kubati. Tudifupa liya fupa liyakwe. Nifuwa tuwa chita testi puskiro tuwa ishwa kubati vushe puskiro di umfuika shani. Elo kawi tuwa ishwa na. Na victory ya tuperi ya olu wa tufuidile. Pamula ndu no lubembu. Pantu lubembu lwale tutitikisha, tuwale furo kupepa wino. Batatu, atu chimfisha. Nifuwe wo tulingiro kwa ti. 
Amen. Brother Mloba. Vana vai draidi, vaka tarika kuti va yande kuti Davida adoge kuti azogoba mwami wabo. Pere vana va mugo wa Juda, varoti vaka vaka ru muni vyo, ba nogbo ti vaka dizikuti wina mwami, pere vaka ru muni vyo. Eji tutonde ya kuti vana kuti vana va Juda, mugo wa Juda. Ndewa bantu baga baga kuashiri ya Absalomi kuti mwami David azwe abrami so eji chivi chovaga jita jaga di kuba pa luyo kumuga tika mioya wao kuti ba ite mwami kuti apiruge kambo chipaga chipage mpa kujibi eji pe so asubu uti nati tuwe mpa kujibi zoto jita kuti tumui te mwami kuti apiruge azo karando swe jira shupa. Tatuko nzuguji kwa nisi hape. Chita kuti natuwe mpukaji ya jipi chotu kwa jita. Natuko nzi ya kujana inguzu. Kizi ya kutitumuite mwami. Kutavora kala anduswe. Amen. So we can see the first people that thought about him were the rest of the other tribes of Israel. The elders sat down and said, they started to remember, see what the king did for us. How he fought our battles. We're now enjoying all this peace. Should we just sit? No, let's have the king back. And word was sent to the king. And when David heard this, his expectation first was for, the, for his own tribe, the tribe of Judah. Because we know that initially, the tribe of Judah was the first that he reigned over. For seven years before the other tribes accepted him. But we can see in this event now, things have turned. The, the people that were last were now the first to think of returning him of having him back into the kingdom. May God help us. So when, they, when David asked, he asked for the priests, told them, please send this message to the tribe of Judah. Ask them, why are you then last to bring the king back? You are the bone of my bone. You are my flesh. May God help us. As we have learned, as we have seen from our lesson, this also, David is also a type of Christ. May the Lord help us. And when David extended this invitation or he asked them this request, he told them, he gave him a promise to Amasa to say, see, I will make you the captain of the army. May the Lord help us. And when the tribe of Judah heard this, with all, with one voice and with one concept, they said, return thou and thy servants. May the Lord help us. And I'm sure this pleased the heart of David when he heard that his own people his own tribe were now ready to receive him. They wanted him back. And he received the invitation. And they started off. And they met at Jordan. May the Lord help us. And we can see that the incidents of our texts are interesting to us of this modern day because there is a close parallel that lies between the indifference of David's brethren to reinstate him as king and the like indifference of people to welcome the Lord and King Jesus Christ. In what way is the situation today comparable to that time? How are people delaying Christ's coming? In what ways are people delaying the coming of Christ? We can see there's, there's much likeness to how the tribes of Israel, the tribe of Judah reacted at this particular time. They knew they had no king. They knew they were by themselves, but they were reluctant to call, to ask the king to come back. So what can we learn about this? How is this situation similar to what is happening today? And how are people delaying the coming of Christ? Brother Bright. Choyamba, chamene chile sakuti Yesu Christo asabwede zichito zatu. Machimo yatu. Because Eh, yesu Kristo safu na wina eh, ali wonsa kaende ku, 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 kuchionongeko afu na ali wonsa kaende kumwamba so zinchito zatu eh, zamene tichita eh, machimo atindi ati, ati patusa eh, atuchosa kumaso ya mulungu eh, mao ya mulungu wamena alangula so zinchito zamene tichita za chete za kuti ambuye yesu abwele and again eh, tamene ninga adding f of 40 jikule again wamba jibo nyozela Alikuwa tima promises yake mena nati pasa kutaza bwera. So, 
abantu batiseka baseka wa makristo kuti e makolo watu banankala bali kufa zinachitike bamene zinachitika kuli noa bamene noa yenze kupanga chiombo chijana hivi vezo muse kati mvula izacho kakuti ize tunankala nonkala muno muziko kulipa cha mechi nachitika so abantu bonyozera e bale bache desa kubwela kwa kwa Yesu Kristo because na hivi Yesu Kristo abafuna kuti baje abantu wapulumusidwe amen sister vera chimbi chakwa bati kuti twa kuti twa chitadzire kuisa kwa kwa Yesu apa kana sendolo bali mukuchiteshani mukupusuka icho bokuti cha chito kwa chito ali chumfwa but kuri kwa fimofo ture ture tindwa na fyefe sonde awe dimbi first insange ko enchito dimbi nchite ko echi kapusuka bwino chebo chena ene na ali umfwa first nchite ko fine fi so na fie na fidia fi kuti fi alengesha Yesu Kristo kucheruo kuisa pantu tetula ipe kanya tetula pokerera lando mutimo ko batiri tupiri bule so kuchita dire chebo mutimo wakwa mu mutimo wa mtu tachifwa ikwa ati bible ilando ko bati apo pene wa umfwe chebo ebushikubwe posikiro so not to go to be catch a was either to first in Kapuska, the first in Stekwefi, Chidiana Chota Chidefuaiqua. May God help us. We can see that is a, exactly what is happening today. As David was longing for his people, that's the same longing that Jesus Christ has for the world today. He doesn't want anyone to perish, he wants everyone to accept him as the Lord and King of their lives. So he is patient, he wants that person to be saved. He wants someone who's still delaying in sin to be saved. May God help us. So we see so many people are indulging in so many sinful activities, delaying the coming of Christ. If the whole world would be saved, nothing would stop Jesus Christ from coming. Because Christ will only, Christ will come when the bride is ready, when the people are ready to receive him. Because Christ wants to receive a church unto himself, a church that is ready, a church that has been washed in his blood. May God help us. But we see so many people, scoffers, scoffing the word of God, asking, where is the promise? Our fathers were here, they have died. We are here, we will also die. May God help us. They are not taking the message of bringing back the king seriously. Sometimes as young people, we delay. I will get saved, let me do this first. I want to do that first. I want to do that. But time is moving. May God help us. The expectation of Christ is that people will be excited. When they think about his death, when they think about the sacrifice that he made, people will think, no, I need to have Jesus Christ in my heart. But if you do not do that early, you are delaying his coming. May God help us. In what other ways, Brother Mlopa? Uh, Abantuba <laughs> Kwanaguti and so soon. Kambugam sis divi o mwe uta ninga zumina. Uti Christu avore, Christu tago borape. Bantu bonse, ba wa jidia reza. Ba zumina ruitu reza. Nati bore Christu. Kwanaguti uti bonse bantu ba mwe uruitu wa Christu. Ba zumine guti Christu avore. Isu waduma Christu. Fere de uti twinke tu gaba ambide. So, if we want to be able to do this, we need to be able to do this. 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 We need to be able Bantu banji tapaninga unwa murumbe. Kaka mpoka kwa kristu, ulache lwa kubola. Inokuti, na murumbe wangu ikwa kuhonse, kristu ula kubola, chaku pambara. Amen. So we can see that Christ's greatest expectation is from the church 
itself. It's okay if unbelievers don't believe, but Christ is now looking at the church. He's looking at the Christians, but many Christians are so indifferent. Many Christians have neglected. Many Christians have forgotten. They live as though Christ is not coming. And this grieves the heart of Jesus the more. Because those should be the first. We that say are born again, we that say are Christians, should be the first. But we are told the love of many in the last days will be called. The love of many has waxed called. May God help us. Because we should be the ones that should help to bring King Jesus back. May God help us. But if we are uninterested, we fail to pray, we have allowed the things of this life to entangle us. Then who would Jesus Christ come for? May God help us that today as we are going to learn this lesson, the Spirit of the Lord will reawaken us. The Spirit of the Lord will rekindle something in us that will stop, will stop giving excuses. As we are going to read, shall we read from Luke 14, verse 16 to 20? We see the excuses that people gave when they were invited for the marriage supper. Luke 14, verse 16 to 20. Luke chapter 14, verse 16 to 20. Sister Vera. Luke chapter 14, verse 16. Awe ati de kuriwene, umundu atebeto mtebeto kalamba, no kuladika avengi 17. Kavidia tumine umusha wakwe panshita ya mlalilo, kukweva ava lalikwe ukuti iseni, icho fionse na fipekaniwa. 18. Na wonse wa tendeke chapa mo umuakulezesha, uwante anshati de kuriwene, ni ishte chidi me indinokuya kukuchimona, de kupapata undeke mo. Na umbia tide ni ishte ngombe, shama kodi ya sano, de ya kukushesha, de kupapata undeke mo. 20. Na umbi atire ni ingu pomu anakashi, echo na firi ruokuisa. May God help us. We can see that whatever excuse people make for neglecting Christ's coming, this is equivalent to absolute rejection. Today people give so many excuses. Sometimes even as Christians, we fail in our duty. We give so many excuses. I'm busy. I have this to do. I have that to do. And we're not preparing adequately for the coming of Jesus. May the Lord help us. Because by making those excuses, we are denying him. But may, may the Lord help us that we are going to be like, like the tribe of Judah when they heard that the king had this complaint. They said, return thou. With one consent, they agreed and said, no, please return thou with thy servant. May God help us. So despite the indifference, the covetousness, the selfishness, and the unbelief of so many called followers of Christ, there is a small group that is faithful and true to their king and who are responsible in a great measure for the king's return. How can Christians help to bring the king back? How can Christians, how can we as Christians help to bring Jesus? Or how can we hasten the Lord's coming as Christians? What are some of the things that we can do? Brother Bright. Uh ya yeah, cho yamba kufunika kulandila zipaso zitatu kunkala wa gwadama sopano wa yele sedwa kuti no pasi wa muzimo oyela izi zamene zizale sa kuti zizaku lengesa kuti iyo nkale uli ku uli uli kupomolela mu Kristo chako uzamba kugonje sa machimo yonse amene uzamba kupeza if uli base impaso ivi vitatu ivi meaning Eh, sunga kwani se kunkala mu Kristo pana pasikola pansi because uzamba ku, 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 ku uzamba ngvela na apete tukutuchite chimo hmm. but if uli na chielo chielo chizakule sa kutuchimwe hmm. and again pamene tizi konzekela eh, kufunika kupempera ali ula eh, kupempera hmm. eh, taka pempera no no mulungu azati pasa njira eh njira yake amene ichokela mu mawo yake and again taka pempera sikufunika chape kupempera again kufunika kupere nga mawo yake Eh, and toka pempera eh, toka velenga mao yache again mao ya mene hati oza kufunika kumvera kwa mene mao hati oza no zichi ita zintuizi tuankala vantuali kuchita mao ya mulu Amen firstly we need to be if you are not saved 
you need to pray and be saved. Just like the, the tribe of Judah did. They said, return thou. That's the first thing that we must do. To acknowledge that Jesus Christ first enters our hearts. We are, accept him to be the king and lord of our hearts. To invite him into our lives. And when we invite him at salvation, we pray again, we press forward. We ask for sanctification. We ask for the baptism of the Holy Ghost. So that the Spirit of God will help us to live victoriously in this life. And as we do that, as we meditate on God's word, the Spirit of God will continue to help us to do the things that we are supposed to do. Anything else, Brother Mlopa? Uh, so, so so Murumbe to 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 we end up to Vari Sari there. So, Kutivan Tuva, now Vari Sarila, now Pamuzumina, Nanda would now go in the Uvarela. So, when I would see, you know, Mio Yesu, if we end up with Christo, Sa to become Christo Ambede, now Tatujitibo, Nishi Christo, Tago in the Uvarape, and then we tried to ever not Christo, to Pony Wumi Wagoti. So, Eh, ku kunkala na chembeke so kuchacho yanga ni lakuti azabwe la lelo mm. or maybe azabwe la because eh, mwamene tawe rengela kutala eh, mchizungu wa kuti ati tufunika kuchita anticipate mm. kuti azabwe la eh, mwuzza mtu wali pa station eh, ufu, ufu na wenda kumalo kuina eh, mtu wali pa station o mtu wamene eh, transport ya chedwa banji saza choka pa station mm. because hafu nakafika kwa mene hafu nakuenda uja mtu mm. so nice takankala na chembeke zero mitima mwatu kuti azabwe la Amen. We know that the surest way that can help to hasten the coming of Jesus is when the gospel is preached the whole world. Because Jesus Christ himself in Matthew 24, we read, he, he tells us, said, you hear of wars and rumors of wars, you famine and place pestilences and all these things. But the, then he says the end has not come. But when the gospel is preached for a witness, the whole world, then Jesus Christ shall come. May God help us. So as Christians, we have a, a great role in helping to propagate the gospel. And we know that the gospel is likened to something in the Bible. Sister Vera, what is the gospel likened to? Ati, ichewa cha kwa adesa cha pasha nishiwa na isti. I'm sure kudi yifuwa na maetu adishiwa fo isti yivomba. Nga mwavika isti, let's say mdi flower. Flower nangu ya chive inono, ila kwa toku tutumuka. Mm. Lesa nga mwanaisa panga mwini mfitu mbuwe fingi sana. Mm. Chimo chinele chebocha kwa lesa. Mm. Luyolu ino uluva nilu no lolo tu asendo kwa iwa kwa umo kwa chieso wala pususha. Mm. Tetitushwa fule sa inga wamba mwini udiomweo. Mm. So chona sanga pocha kwa wati, ifu nga wana wa kwa lesa nga fotu wa mfo kwa wati, ni fotu filo kutumie chewo konse konse. Mm. Isendu sendo lute ampululo kwa wati, tuwewe wa ambi kwa wati yesu kristo wala pususha. Yeye ni fiashu ili moto wa weba. Kunta nishtuka ya papo. Kwa bati iwe chidi eche wawa ewe le udia. Muno mula ini ule kukonkua apusuike. So mweba na wako alesa. Notikula nda kwa bati haka ini nene mpianga fie. 
No kupianga na kwenye kuvida. Ine nchitefe, ako keno chita paridesa. Ika tisha ya ovalesa, akaleta muefingi. Amen. Shall we read Matthew 13 verse 33? Matthew 13 verse 33. And then Matthew 24 verse 14. And James 5 verse 7. Matthew 13 verse 33. Brother Mlopa, Matthew 13, verse 33. Then Sister Vera, Matthew 24, verse 14. And Brother Bright, James 5, verse 7. Matthew, Matthew 13, verse 33. Adimui wakaba ambira mugo zianyo. Adimui Jaguti. Wami Babu Juru, Uriko Zene, Abumena, Waga, Weza, Waga Weza Mwanagazi, Agubu Vundiga, Munsoa, 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 Zotatwe, Diabusu, Mane, Do, Bonse. Nibuaga futumuga. Amen. Matthew 24, verse 14. Matthew 24, verse 14. Nembi ransuma ii abu fumu. Ika virua fialo fionse kukubobu nte kunko shonse elu empira ikesa. Amen. James 5, verse 7. Yakobo 5, verse 3. Chapter 5, verse 7. Petoro leza ni mitima pale kufikila kuza kwache kwa ambuye. Taonani olima ol, 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 munda alin, alindila chipaso. Chofuniki, chofuni, chon, chofuni kato cha ziko. Zi, zi, zi leza mitima nacho kufikila chikala ndire Mvula ya miunda ndi masiku. Amen. So we can see the gospel, the, the powerful influence that the gospel has. It is like the living. The little efforts that we do for Christ will yield so much at the end of it all. And by the grace of God, till the last person hears because we are told that he has patience. May God help us. And when that last person hears the gospel and is saved, then Jesus Christ shall come. And uh, as we do all these things, may God help us that we should anticipate. Amen. We should look forward to his coming. Amen. Looking forward to his coming will show it in the way that we live our lives. In our devotion to God. The things that we do, that will attract the coming of Jesus. May God help us. That as a church, we may be small. But that will bring Jesus Christ to come back to this earth again. Because we are told that they elect the church of God. Those that look for him, as our memory verse says. Those that love him, those that look for his appearing. The memory verse said, he shall appear the second time. May God help us. Amen. Unto salvation, may God help us. That we should live in anticipation. Every day of our lives as we live. That is why by the grace of God as Christians as children of God we cannot do things anyhow we cannot live anyhow because we are looking forward to that day we know what our king wants we know the state in which we should be we want to read the word of God we want to do what the Bible tells us to do the Bible says you know it was granted to her that she should be dressed in fine linen clean and white and that's what the children of God do. Those that are expecting his coming, they wash their garments in the blood of Jesus. They ask him every day, Jesus, please purify my heart. Maybe today is the day that you will come. I want to be ready. Before we go down to sleep, as we are going to sleep, maybe this is when you are going to come. Maybe you are going to come tonight. Please prepare my heart. I want to be ready. So may God help us that we should live in anticipation. We should look forward to the day that he will come. Because he says, surely I come quickly and my reward is with me to give to every man according to his works. And we know that Jesus Christ has promised us a beautiful home, mansions, 
He said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So we know the king we are expecting. We know what the kingdom has. We know what he has prepared, the new heaven and the new earth. And the many things that he tells us in his word about how that new heaven and the new earth, what it is made of. The streets that are there, the beautiful city, the city four square. So may God help us that we should look forward and prepare for his coming so that one day by his grace but firstly we need to accept him into our hearts first as king of our lives as lord of our lives and then by the grace of god as we live looking up to his coming jesus christ will prepare us may god bless us this is our lesson i will read the wrap up to close the lesson are you longing for the coming of jesus or are you too busy with your own affairs to have time to think about it? Jesus has bought us with his own precious blood. We belong to him and are precious in his sight. He loved us enough to die for us and we are saved through his blood. As the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. Isaiah 62 verse 5. How does our love for him compare with his love for us? Are we giving our lives for him in service? Would we be willing to die for him if it were necessary? If we are doing all we can for Jesus, we can say with the Apostle John, Even so, come Lord Jesus. Revelation 22, verse 20. May God bless us. This is the end of our lesson. If we are in a position to kneel down and pray wherever we are, we can kneel down to pray. The service will soon start. In the next few minutes, the service will start. We'll ask Brother, Sister Vera to close with us with a word of prayer. Pam Totera, Mwele Sawesu, Mwabai Kalamulu Mwamishro. Pam Totera, Pamela Ndwakwa, Timwele Samwati Tutemwa. Mwene ni mwete atamwisa mbiro tu wachikwata na mlole kisho kusango kwa timiti mayose ambo kumirabako. Tu alabako fiyonsefo mwatu chitira. Mwele soku chitira mwili sambio tu alombo kwa timutu vukulu kushe. Mutuwebu kishefi onsefo mwatu chitira. Kaya ingana tukwa tovu na nganyu wakuwa mbe nchito enu mweleza tupele ni amaka. Tutume nyu kwa tutuvile mbila nsuma konse konso kwa tukuisa kwenu kuweko. Mwe shukuru pantu tulefulu kisho kuisa ikala pamuna imwe. Ifo fine tata, ifo tuwacha mbe disa mbililo. Ifo mwena ifo mudifi onse ni mwishina ya kwa yosu tuwa pepa. Amen.